This one has some pretty straightforward transition words. So let's just start with the passage. And remember, even though this is kind of like in the middle of things, we can kind of move this blank if we want to the front of the sentence where we would normally kind of see these transition words, where we would normally put the words like bud and so and and that we would use in our own conversations. So you can do that. If it's kind of in the middle and it's just being separated from the, the sentence by two commas, that means that that transition is an interruption. So if it helps you think about it, picture the blank at the beginning of the sentence. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm still going to say blank, but uh, let's take a look. Although novels and poems are considered distinct literary forms, many authors have created hybrid works that incorporate elements of both. Bernadine Evaristo's The Emperor, Emperor's Babe is a verse novel, a book-length narrative complete with characters and a plot but conveyed in short, crisp lines of poetry rather than prose. So, okay, they're saying they're distinct. Um, and then we have... Well, I mean, I, I'm about to say the answer, an example of one that is uh, mixing them up, right? So lines of poetry rather than prose. So because um, many, many authors have created hybrid works, and that's exactly what this is. It's an example of a hybrid work. So we can literally just, like I said, rearrange it, double check it. Although novels and poems are considered distinct literary forms, many authors have created hybrid works that incorporate elements of both. For example, Bernadine Evaristo's no uh, Emperor's Babe is a verse novel, a book-length narrative complete with characters, the plot that it uh, conveyed, and a short, crisp lines of po poetry rather than prose. So there you go. Now, why is it anything else? Well, it's not a contrast because it is, like I said, an example of that. So it's not a but. Consequently means so. Now, that might be tempting, but I think this is a good example where like putting the so in, it feels like it doesn't make sense. Many authors have created hybrid works, so Bernadine Evaristo's novel is a verse novel? Like, it's not like she created that because other authors made other, like, hybrid novels? Like, it's an example of that. Like, the so just feels unnatural to me. So hopefully it does to you. Now, secondly is the most obviously wrong because it's not, a, there's no firstly. Right. Firstly, it's like steps in a process. First, do this, then do that. Second, you know, so that just definitely feels wrong. Um, so hopefully, yes, it was obvious to you that, for example, works. I think, you know, the, the, the temptation is that since some of these words, like consequently, are a little bit more sophisticated than the words we use in a day to day basis, we are more tempted to pick them because we're like, ah, oh, that sounds smart. But that's not a good reason to pick it, right? It has a specific meaning. Use these transition um, summary categories here to bring it back to that meaning and then just test it out and see if it sounds good because I think your instincts are probably pretty good around simple words like button. So.